Now, we've been looking at the idea of clearing a knee shield. The idea is that if you cannot clear a knee shield and establish chest-to-chest -chest contact, you're never going to be a dominant half-guard passer. You're never going to be able to establish the kind of connection to your opponent, full body connection, which enables you to shut down a younger, fitter opponent than yourself. So, um, we've looked at how to clear knee shields which are positioned low down by the hip. We've looked at two solid methods of doing so. Um, now let's look at the idea of clearing a high knee shield where the knee is positioned inside my shoulder. Brian Glick is working with a high knee shield. The idea is he's still connected inside our leg, but he has the knee up high and a hand here on my tricep and probably the second hand posted either inside my bicep or inside my shoulder. In these situations, it's very hard for me to establish chest to chest contact. It's hard for me even to pull my arm free. Okay, so the question becomes, well, what the hell should I be doing now? Well, one thing I can always do is post here on my training partner's hip. My second hand is always possible for me to come back to my own body and I just retreat. From this position, I put my hand here underneath my training partner's knee. Don't worry, I'll soon show you a different angle. And then from this position, I bring my foot back to myself and turn my foot outwards so that I can come up into a standing position and run everything by. I take my elbow and put it in front of my training partner's knee, just like so. When he tries to bring his knees together, it's tough. Now I bring my two knees together and I sit straight down with my head in close. And as a result, we can walk forward and get into the classic chest to chest position. Let's have a look at this from another angle. From half guard, training partner has a high shield, locked in like so. I bring my hand back to my training partner's hip. I bring my own hand back to myself. Hand goes on my training partner's thigh and comes down to the bottom of the knee. From this position, I bring my foot back, pop up, and I run everything up and make his knees point at the ceiling. I pommel my elbow in front of his thigh. And then from this position, my two knees come together and we settle strip down into the classic half guard situation, locking up and find ourselves in a great attacking position. Once again, training partner has the high shield. From here, hand comes back to hip, second hand comes back to myself, strategic retreat backwards, hand goes to the bottom of the knee. Now from this position, we pop up and walk his knees across the other side, slipping my elbow inside, we come back, and then from this position, drive straight down into chest-to-chest -chest half guard. So this is a very practical way to clear out the high knee shield.